I'm so tap tap, and since I make the guide and have all these videos where I show lots of fish, people tend to assume that, oh, you must play this game all day, every day, forever, and it's actually quite far from the truth, so uh, it's easy to not know exactly what to do in Abyssrian. There's a lot of different ways to get uh, vitality, and so I thought I would just do a quick little video, and um, this will be just kind of my, this is just kind of my daily ritual, and it'll show you what you can do every day, and just not really take very much time at all, and you can still progress in a Brissium, even if this is all you do. So, first thing we're gonna do, these daily missions are very important. So, um, I already used an auto-clicker, honestly, to do the finger warm-up. If you, uh, if you don't have or don't want to do an auto-clicker, what you can do is, I usually wait for a song when I'm using Song of the Moon, and then I tap with, like, four fingers, or you can drum multiple fingers. Uh, just try to get the most out of it by using Song of the Moon, and just you know, tap a lot and wait for that. Um, anytime you'll see a little red icon on that trophy, very important to go click that and see what you've earned. Um, but yeah, th this is my least favorite achievement of all of them. Um, that's why I kind of recommend an auto clicker, honestly, um, to get that. But these other ones are very easy to do and they are very rewarding. So the two most important ones are study photographer and technical player. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna share some pictures. Now, Abyssrium is not that smart. It doesn't really, it really just counts. It, it can't know if you've actually shared something to a social network. It just knows that you click that share button. So you just click the share button and then you go out to the draft. You like cancel out of your draft. Um, I don't actually have anything installed to share it on on this device, so it's even easier. Oh, and if you, anytime you have the farms, you'll wanna get your stuff. Um, so yeah, now we've gotten 10 minutes of Spirit of Life with doubles Vitality, so we want to use that. And then we want to cast our three skills. Um, pretty much any time, you know, the first time you open the app in the morning, you're always going to have your skills recharged. Um, then you're going to want to recharge, uh, well, if it's an event, you might want to just ride out your five minutes because you'll get doubled, uh, or actually Song of the Moon times doubled um, amount of candies or, you know, event currency. So you might want to click that out. Otherwise, if you're just in it for the vitality, I would recommend just clicking that recharge skill immediately. Uh, I'm going to cut out an ad watch here, so just a second. I figure I can spare you the ads, right? So now we have all of our ads back, or all of our skills back. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. So my cat just jumped on my desk. Thank you. Um, so now we've casted three sk six skills total, which means we can get technical player. That means we get 10 core light levels per day. Um, for those people stuck at like N or O vitality, a lot of people, you know, panic at that point. Um, some people have told me they've been trapped at N vitality for months. That's not possible if you just do this. All you gotta do, cast five skills, get your 10 core light levels, even if everything else in the game does not work at all. And you just don't know what you're doing. Um, that'll eventually get you over over the hump. Um, oh, I actually did this wrong, by the way. What you're supposed to do, um, before you use your 10 core light levels, what you really want to do is spend your vitality first because, you know, the, the cost of the levels always keeps going up. So what you want to do is buy as many as you can before getting the 10 because that way you get the most out of your 10. You are very disruptive, sir. Thank you. Um, so now that we've use those two skills we can also um coral isn't really coral really only matters early on honestly but um by watching five ads you uh get your core level increased by 10 every day for free um i recommend just watching the recharge recharge skill is by far the most valuable ad to watch if you just want to rush through things and just get that as quick as possible and close the app for the day what you can do is recharge your skill um, come in here, do the tiny luck shell, go to the shop, get some free gems. Um, you can watch for free vitality, it's a complete waste of time. Um, as you can see here, uh, 200 ED vitality, uh, less than a, a thousandth of what I currently, that's actually, that's actually three seconds of my, you know, normal vitality and far less than a single click of vitality. It's garbage. It's garbage! Anyway. Um, I would recommend the, the most valuable ad watches are really the, um, by far the recharge skill. Then I would say it's kind of a wash between the tiny luck shell and the, uh, get gems. Um, I don't really recommend the chest, but the chest is another option. 
The chest is kind of the same as the free gems because it's like, you get a one in three chance to get 30 gems and all of the other rewards are frankly garbage. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much your daily ritual. You also will need to leave your phone on a charger and let the 60 minutes fill up. That's, that's dumb, but you know, it's easy to do. Just leave your, just leave it on, unfortunately. I wish they would cut this down to 30 minutes and this down to like 1,000. Because even when I play this game fairly intently, it's pretty hard to get to 60 minutes because this is not a game that you leave open for long periods of time. You just pop in here, you cast your skills, and I usually just leave, uh, honestly. But that's pretty much most of what I do. That's that's all I do most days. I You make sure to get all of your bonuses um, because your final reward here, you get 50 pearls and Pearls are very important. First thing you want to do with your pearls, if you don't know what to do with them, you want to buy the seaweed and clam farms. Those let you buy fusion fish, and those are permanent unlocks, and they're very cheap. I think the seaweed farm was 50 pearls, clam farm was 100. That's three days of pearls total. That's very easy. And what you can do with the seaweed and clam farm is make fusion fish. And with fusion fish, I get... How much do I get? 1,200% extra vitality. Um, so I'm progressing a lot faster because of my fusion fish. And I could make a lot more. I've been stockpiling because I've just been lazy, honestly, and haven't been making them. Um, that, that vitality, that adds up a lot. Um, and also another thing you can do with your craters, the second best thing, once you've got those farms purchased, you want to buy craters. Um, you just want to shoot straight for the large crater. Um, like I said earlier, coral vitality eventually gets pretty useless. So it really shouldn't ever be your focus because it will be briefly relevant very early on, like your first week playing. It'll be complete garbage after that. So, excuse me, that is a fruit roll-up. You can't even eat this. You can't even taste sweet. You're a cat. What are you doing? Slow your roll, please. Oh, you got slobber all over it. You're gross. I'm sorry, my cat is assisting in all of the wrong ways. So like I was saying, craters are the most important because they increase your lonely coralite vitality production. And the core light production, which is the per tap vitality, that's what affects daily or er, delicious food. Delicious food is going to produce so many thousands or millions of times, um, potentially even billions of times, whatever your idle vitality gets for two hours. Um, basically, after your past Z vitality, I would absolutely completely ignore um, your idle vitality, the little pop up that shows up and says, oh, you've earned X vitality plus you know, watch an ad to double it. Ignore that. Don't, definitely don't watch the ad. Um, because, yeah, I, with a single cast of Delicious Food with Song of the Moon active, I get, I get, I think it's about a billion times that much vitality in one go. So you want to focus all of your pearls and all of your effort onto these craters. As you can see here, I've got about 12,000% more. Um, or 1,200%. Still very big. Um, but what you want to do is get 10 level S craters, and then you unlock the M, and then you basically just want to make a beeline for the L craters. There's the be they're the best. And uh, once you've unlocked the L, you pretty much just keep putting them into L. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you spend your, all of your stuff. All right, gems. So for gems, like I said, delicious food, extremely important. Song of the Moon, even more important. All of your gems early on should go into Song of the Moon until at least level 11. Same for delicious food. Um, the other skills are not necessarily bad, but they're extremely underwhelming compared to delicious food. Um, glowing Conch is good though, because it reduces your recharge time cooldown by 50%, which means you only have to wait seven and a half minutes to recharge, which is so fast that in within this own within this one video, we've already got the recharge timer up. So yeah, if you're stuck in, if you want to, you know, progress fast in, um, in Abyssrium, that's pretty much all you really need to do. I would say just play it once daily, um, do those tasks, spend the gems and the pearls the way I said. That's pretty much what you need to know. Um, also, definitely buy a fish whenever you can. Um, whenever you can buy a fish you want to, because that's the, that's the fastest way to increase your total vitality earnings. You have clumpy fur, I'm trying to get your fur declumped. Sorry. Um, yeah, your first priority should be buying fish anytime you can. If upgrading the Coralite is cheaper, um, if you're getting 25 Coralite levels is cheaper than a fish, which the way you can tell that is upgrading a Coralite 25 times costs 70 times whatever the amount is shown here. You can just multiply it times 100 if you're uh, a little 
less math inclined, like I kind of am. Just multiply it times 100, add two zeros, and uh, compare that to the fish cost. If the fish costs less, go for the fish. If the coralite costs less, go for that. And actually what I do for the coral is since once you're past Z vitality, like I said, coral matters so much less. What I do is I wait until the letter here is like, oh, I wait until this cost is over a letter behind and then I buy 100 because each 100 levels is about one letter's worth of vitality, so to speak. So I go through here every few letters and I just, you know, tap that level times 100 and that saves me a lot of time because as you can see, if you were to upgrade this pearly anemone um, 13,000 times single clicking, it's gonna, you're gonna have a bad time. If you upgrade that times 100, eh, it's not gonna be as big of a deal. So just don't worry too much about the coral, it's pretty insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Uh, do definitely buy new corals if you do unlock them, because these, obviously more coral means more fish, so that's important. But yeah, hopefully that's all pretty easy to understand. That's pretty much what you need to do to, um, you know, if you're stuck in Abyssrium, all you really need to do, log in once a day, do these simple little tasks, Make sure you claim your rewards, because you gotta claim these. Also, some people get confused. Uh, it's kind of a dumb UI thing, but this says complete now 100 gems. This does not mean you get 100 gems. It means you spend 100 gems. A couple of people are confused by that. Do not, you do not get, you, you burn your gems and it's so not worth it. And that's pretty much it. You are extremely in the way, my child. He doesn't care. He's just glaring at me. Um. <laughs> You're not even gonna mew for us? Give us a mew. He's quiet sometimes. Sometimes he's really loud. He's usually loud with company. Anyway, that... Oh yeah, anytime you see that, you wanna get your farm stuff. You don't worry too much about, like, grinding for for the, the farm, the seaweed, and the clams. Just, whenever you see it pop up, just tap it. You don't have to worry about it too much. And then just, you know, whatever you want, make your uh, fusion fish. So if you're stuck on the end vitality wall, all you really got to do, do those daily things. It doesn't really matter where you are in the game. Do those daily things and uh, you'll keep progressing no matter how slow the game may seem. Um, you've got those 10 free Coralite upgrades. Um, you've got the free Spirit of Life. And just remember, casting your three skills is really all that matters at this point in the game. Uh, clicking furiously isn't really going to help you a great deal. It'll help you a little bit. Um, it's mostly just for events that I even bother to click. I don't, I'm not really big on just mashing clicks. So I'm kind of glad it's this, you know, idle, you know, you just cast your skills and be on your merry way. Hopefully that helps.